Hello everyone and welcome to Disorganized Crafter. And we are starting with a Valentine's Day uh, night or a single awareness night. <laughs> I guess that's what we'll call it, single awareness. <laughs> so, how is everyone doing? Hey, there's Miss June and Barbara Higgins and Amy's back and Bo and Tiffany. How are you today? So, uh, hey, Talise! Hey, Miss Talise's in the house. Yes, amen to single awareness. I prefer to be single. That's just me. I don't know about nobody else. <laughs> but, I did this a couple of days ago, just kind of piddling around because um, I had gotten the new Prima molds, and I'm going to show you them, and um, I just got inspired. So I just did a quick four by six canvas. Um, let me give it a little close up. There you go. There we go. It's in frame, I think. <laughs> So I just wanted to kind of show you how um, I did it. So I'm going to put this one aside. And so I went ahead and started uh, molding everything, but I wanted to show you the mold. This is Stars and Moons, and this is where I got the little mold from. And uh, let me show you the product I use for the molding. And y'all know how I like my uh, Illumilite. So this is the Aluma Res, and it is called RC3 Casting Resin, and it is black. And when I say black, I mean black. It's black. Uh, it's not focusing, but it's black. So you don't have to color it. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to paint it or anything else, especially if you're using it for. Um, you know, these pieces like this. Uh, this one is Cogs and Wings. And um, I want to get the packaging out so you can see it. So, yep. This one is called Cogs and Wings. And this has a three set of wings, four set of wings. I'm sorry. It has, um, oh, I think I did the wrong wings. Um, it has um, like a medium sized wing. Then it has uh, the smaller wing, and then it has uh, the bigger wings. And see how easy this pops out? And oh my gosh, love, 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 the color. Camera's not focusing. <laughs> and it has cogs on there. Hey, please. Which come out, oh, Miss Penny, there she's back, which come out so great. How's it looking on the camera, Penny? It's zooming in and out. It's trying to focus. Yeah. Wait, when I get started, it'll stop. I'm trying to be a professional. So I'm not using a webcam. I actually hooked my actual camera up. Hi, Carla. Hey, Miss Carla. How are you doing? So that's the cogs and wings. And then this one is Mechanica. Now, the Mechanica has all the cogs. And it has these little pieces here, which I actually didn't use, but I can show you how they look. Um, they look like this. Hold on, let me get something so it'll focus. There you go. Uh-huh. So that's what that one looks like. And... These are pretty kind of cool. <laughs> you do have to pour them very carefully <laughs> with a steady hand. So if you do get these molds, I will say you will need a cup that has a pour spout. Um, something like this. Because you do not want to try to pour this without a pour spout. I'm just saying. Because I've made a mess. <laughs> Plenty of times. And I love these little pieces that they added in. They actually, if you really look at them, they look like um, 
uh, real screwdriver heads. So whoever did these molds did a kudo job on them. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There you go. You'll see it more when I um, highlight it with some of the Prima waxes. So, how is everyone? Oh, uh oh, whose internet's acting poopy? Totally. It's usually my internet acting poopy. <laughs> oh, yeah, these things, we do have them in the store. So, I did put a link um, to the Prima products that we have in the store. We have some of the waxes, but I will tell you, ladies, them waxes are going fast. We already have to put in another order for them. Um, if now I thought of Amy when I actually um got this one. See, I over poured a little bit, so I got to cut it, which is no biggie. And they come out really easy too. So if you do something that's that's like a dark project um resin is great we do have the resin in the store but i will tell you ladies that there is well the manufacturer and we talked extensively oh boy yeah i didn't do that one quite right we talked to the manufacturer and they do recommend a three month shelf life so if you do order it we order it straight from the um manufacturer and but it usually comes in within like two or three days and um it does like when you buy the resin from michael's which is i guess white resin it um i've had that too but it's hard to paint over and it's like the i guess you can say the lower end of the brand this one i have no problem putting waxes on paint or anything at all and it takes it like like butter so i'm having trouble connecting oh the my god Take i'm gonna have to turn her off so i'm just gonna do a quick canvas uh let me see i will be uh, <laughs> 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 Okay, we're unplugging her for a minute. Um, so, like I said, this is just going to be an easy, 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 easy canvas. Uh, let me see. It's sad. Uh, no, it's not oh, sad. Okay. Um, I think we should change it to happy alone day, which is had, which means we had one and now we don't want one. <laughs> I like how I do. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I am going to remember one thing. Glove one, glove two. I am still picking paint out of my fingernails from the last time I played with it. So I'm putting on gloves. Putting on my gloves. Putting on my gloves. Yeah, the, I'm noticing that too, girls. What? The stream is freezing up. So, like, you'll my be one thing. Yeah. It's actually on Hangouts and on uh, YouTube side. Oh. On YouTube side, I'm just seeing the owl. What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It better not. Hangouts, it's, it's not the owl on hang on my Hangouts, but it's frozen up with just your hand, your blue hand stand it sitting there. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. How's okay? Now it's back on. Okay. Yeah. It's acting funny. Yeah, now it's click back on yourself. It's slipping from my puppy picture to owl. Okay, here we go. See, I tried to be a professional. There we go. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Okay, now it seems. Yeah, I changed cameras. No, it's still doing the owl. What the world? On YouTube, that's what they're seeing is the owl. Yeah, I'm pulling up YouTube now. Is that better? Nope. Why does it keep flipping? Uh, stop presenting. Why is it not showing the actual show and it's showing your splash screen? Is what? Yeah. Here we go. All right. Is that better? Yep. All right. So far, so, okay. far, so good. Girls, let us know as soon as the owl comes back, if it does. 
No, I'm looking at it. It's it's back. Okay. That was all good. Right. All right. So this should be good. Darn it. Yeah. Okay. I know, right? Now I got to. YouTube's having having a, a bad night, apparently. Yes, YouTube's having a bad night. Being crabby. <laughs> crabby. Crabby, happy. All right. Crabby tubes. All right. So this is the Liquitex Basics. And pretty much it's it's kind of thick, but it covers really well. And I'm just going to prepare it. Now, most canvases do already come pre-gessoed. I always go back and re gesso them. I don't know why. I'll be my hang up. And I am using Prima brush and it has the, see Crystal got me into uh, this Prima brush. And I'm telling you, I've used it and I'm loving it. It also doubles as a weapon. Yes. Look at that thing. <laughs> saw ya, saw ya. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at double screen. Hi, Christine. Hey, Christine. How are you? So, what has everyone done for Valentine's Day? I got some nasty, nasty chocolate from someone at work. It was a thought. They might be watching. No, they ain't watching. <laughs> but it was sweet. He gave all the ladies at work a thing of, oh. you know, like the dollar store um, chocolates. Yeah. But they nasty. <laughs> but it was much appreciated. I tasted a little bit of it and then I put it in the garbage and then I covered it. So nobody would see that I threw it all away. <laughs> you'd, rather let, you'd rather let them think that you ate an entire box of chocolate. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Valentine's Day, Christine, and happy single awareness for everybody else if they're single. I am single and I love being single. <laughs> what did I do with my towel? And I love it. All right. So I am going to dry this. Yes, I did keep I did keep the box, Tiffany. <laughs> right, yeah. I sure did, because I'm going to use that in the project. <laughs> so, if you know from, uh, if you are in my uh, mixed media class, you know that the gesso prepares the um, background for a paint and other uh, media. And it dries pretty quick, so you don't have to do too much drying. That's the only thing I hate about wearing gloves is you don't know if it's dry. Oops, not dry. See, I can I, I can wear gloves and still get paint on me. Look at the gloves. I've done one little thing and I got paint all over the place. Uh oh. Oh. So Talise got a basket full of goodies. Good God. And a stuff. Oh, he's so sweet. And Carla got a pretty pink tulip. Yeah, I never really did Valentine's Day. I think it's a, a commercialized kind of um, thing. So I'd rather just either go to a movie or when I was married, uh, just go to a movie or, you know, cook someone a nice dinner. All that chocolates and stuff like that. I don't do flowers. I don't like flowers because they die. <laughs> I think they're pretty, but a waste of money. That's just my opinion. No one else's. It's dry. All right. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, and I listed everything that, y'all, I was being a professional today. I listed everything I was using in the description. What? Say it with me. I'm a professional. I listed it in there. <laughs> I am using, because everybody gets on me about this, a TCW uh, 6x6 stencil, and it is called Mini Gears. I love this stencil. Got it years ago. Don't know if they still have it, but um, it's more, gives you the outer 
than in the inner. So I don't know which way I want to do it. So I think I'm going to do it this way. Mm, yep, yeah. we're going to do it just like that. And I got some my handy dandy scraper. Um, Y'all know where I get these at Harbor Freight. Love them. You can get a pack of three different sizes at, at uh, Harbor Freight for probably about $2 and something. And they spread wonderfully. Now I didn't put it on the wrong side. Look at that. I know I'm so anal. I have to do it this way. Let me try to buy me flowers. Was sneezing. Oh, Christy, he tried to buy you flowers. You were sneezing like crazy by the time he reached the register. He left them there. Oh, hey, that's the thought that counts. You know, you can't, um, can't fault the thought. Now, my ex-husband, because I already told him, don't buy me flowers. Don't buy me chocolates. None of that. Just get me a good book. In a movie. In a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a, and a, and a. <laughs> and a cupcake. A bunt cake. Now, let me show you the magic of the scraper. Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit more. When you, oh man, it won't stay. When you do it, you can scrape all of this up. And it comes right up, and then you can put it right back in your little bucket. I've saved me tons of modeling paste like this, or gel medium, or whatever, because I'm cheap. And I want to save every little bit. Well, there's no point in being wasteful. Right? Oh, and I still got a little bit on the side. And when you pull it up, And actually, let's scrape this off the side and maybe put a little bit right chuck. Yeah, let's put a little bit more over there. And I don't know how clear y'all are seeing this. Hopefully clear enough. Guys wouldn't have to spend any money if they figured out if they wrote a really a sweet note. And put oh. on a bathroom mirror on your pillow or something. Oh, that's it'd, it'd be free. Like a little love note. Right. And that's something that I would assume most women would just keep forever. Oh, yes. You know that's right. Romance doesn't have to cost money. Sure doesn't. Yep, that worked. And I'm going to scrape it off the side. And I'm going to stick this in a tub of water and let it soak. And we don't really do Valentine's Day, but our, I think it was like our second year together. Uh -huh. Tom came home from work with <laughs> This Valentine's Day card that was like two feet tall. <laughs> it was the hugest thing. <laughs> Just because he knew it would crack me up. Oh my God. We laughed oh, on yeah. the card. It was huge. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now I'm just drying the modeling face. Oh, Barbara, that's cute. Oh, you do it. Oh, you do a heart on your card, but the funniest heart I ever saw. Oh, which makes it ten times better, right? It, it would to me. Yeah, gotta get covered up. Yeah, I got my favorite peanut butter cups. Are these like organic? Really dark chocolate, very low sugar. 
I just love the things. They're delicious. Oh, yeah. They're like homemade ones, kind of. And uh, I got that and a big, huge uh, kiss on on the ch on the cheek. And to me, that's worth every every bit of it. Um, how did you get around having twenty one cards? What? Oh, Christine has a whole bunch of them. Oh, don't you love them scrapers, Christine? Oh, my gosh. Most house owners, homeowners, you end up with multiples of things like that because you grab them every time you do a project because you can never find the ones you got last time. And right. then all of a sudden, when you're not doing any projects, you find 75 scrapers. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem is that I was looking for the small ones, so I had to break out the big one. Yeah. The gloves. But I don't know what I did with the, with the small one. It's somewhere. So then I'll end up finding that one somewhere else. <laughs> Look at she goes at Harbor Freight, they're 20 for $8. And then <laughs> right. Oh, and then I sent her one. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I, that's, so <laughs> that's where I got them, Christine. I got a whole big um, I think it was like 20 of them. Yeah. But they I think they were a little bit more than eight. Where I got them from. Oh, they're amazing to have them out around the house anyway. Yeah, I actually, um, I think they told me to get one when I was doing some of the um, repair work. Well, like walls and stuff. Okay, can y'all see that? Sure can. Okay. All right. So, uh, let me see. I was trying to be a professional, but it didn't work. <laughs> All right, so eh, let me see. Do I have a box? Yes, I have my box over there. So what I am going to do is I know I put some of these in your kit. I found these. Oh my god, I love these things. Is and I need a heating. There we go. Get my heat gun set up. And I am going to use the Sure Bonder with the detail tip. I do like my Ad Tech. But I'm working with small pieces, so I have to get my Sure Bonder. So dripping will ensue. So I need a pad. Uh oh. All right. June, suit ready. No. Dripping is going to ensue. We need our suit. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to... Okay. What am I going to do? Because I cannot find my brush. Oh, here it is. I don't see it on screen. <laughs> is... And I need a palette knife. Good gracious. I call myself prepared, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> okay. Oh, Barbara, you lucky thing. What? Oh. Okay. I'm going to show you how much you're going to use for the whole project. No. <laughs> We're just going to Barbara's house. She's she's seriously right. craftastic today. Okay. So this is the, okay, let me get in the right camera frame. This is the Art Alchemy um, Wax, and um, this is Steampunk Copper. And I need to put... That's the what? No, that's the acrylics, right? Acrylics. Acrylics. Thank you. Good Freaking gracious. out. I'm like, why is it so tall? I know. I, I like, want to get to the waxes already. Like, really. I got excited <laughs> thinking the wax, the new waxes were that tall. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Phew. This is the Prima Finnebear Art um, Alchemy Steampunk Copper Acrylic Paint. And I love this, and I saw it, and I was like, got to have it. I'm sorry. 
Steampunk copper. Really? <laughs> Telephone. Be right back. Okay. Um, and I'm blurry. There we go. Um, you just do one finger. <laughs> metal. What, uh, Amy? Metal. What, June? Do not hold. Hold on. You are the safety inspector <laughs> for this group. You cannot be gluing your fingers together. Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit at top. Then I'm gonna get my handy dandy box. Cause I don't want a lot. So I'm gonna let it drip down. And I'm hoping y'all seeing this. Okay, y'all seeing that? Okay, good. And I'm really not caring what direction I go in. I'm just kind of painting some on. And y'all saw, like, I only put a little bit in there, and I probably got half of that stuff left. So you really don't have to use a lot. Hey, Jamal, how are you doing? Do, 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 do. And I probably will not get it to come out the same way I did the last one, but that's okay. And if you notice, I don't know if y'all noticed, you see the blue undertones? So the steampunk copper has a little bit of a blue undertone to it, which is cool. But I just wanted y'all to see. Isn't that cool? Okay. <laughs> Before I paint it. <laughs> Teaching beauty school. I had two students and a client super glued to the man. What? Cogs and wheels. Barbara, metal pieces like Nikki is using. Amy forgot what to call them. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted the little copper undertone. That's why I only put a little bit on there in the black. I don't know why I do this, but I do. Hi, Laura. Hi, Jean. Hey, Jean. Hey, Laura. Hi, Jamal. Uh oh. What? I'm being extra messy tonight. <laughs> well, it's not so easy to pour out of big bottles. I know. You know, I. Or to pour neatly, I should say. It's easy to pour, all right. <laughs> and for me, I. Just like the little bit of copper undertone in, in the paint. I, I know you really can't see it, but I, I can see it a little bit here. Won't you see yeah. it once it dries, though? Say what? Won't you see it more once it dries, too, though? Yeah, you should see a little bit more once it dries. It's pretty. I know. I, if I could just take that steampunk copper and put it on everything, I would. Uh-oh, June. Uh-oh, what, 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 what's going on? What did June do? If you I'm not making, I'm not doing experiments. I'm not doing it. No, I just figured you were going to roll in it later. <laughs> She's going to no. be steampunk copper at work tomorrow. I know, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, one day I'm just going to roll myself in some mica powder and become a copper statue. Oh, uh, you might get money. <laughs> <laughs> just going still somewhere. Go down to New Orleans right. <laughs> and be a mime. Yep. <laughs> mime <laughs> <and> cupcakes. <laughs> what? For Valentine's Day, my daughter Flea, she got to dissect the heart. Oh, <laughs> June said no.
a little bit too thick right there. There we go. For those of you with the flu, I heard today um, that uh, there's other states now that where the kids are or the schools are shut down, just like what Talise had happen. Because there's so many kids. One school, there was 100 kids out. What? Wait yeah. a minute. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's Wait pretty much all over the U.S. now it's happening, so. Wait a minute. Tiffany dissected a fetal pig. I've done an autopsy before, y'all. I delivered a couple of babies. I've done a heart surgery, eye surgery. I used to be a nurse. <laughs> I've had like five jobs. I had to dissect a lot of stuff in school. Other than that, I've just been there and for five deliveries of human babies. I have not performed any surgery. Well, actually, I take that back. I did put stitches in a a soccer, a pro soccer player's butt when I lived in Mexico. I know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of obsessed with like, like that kind of stuff. It's just really neat. <laughs> So it's a wonder, and so it's kind of funny that my daughter became a nurse because I, I did this all before I had children. See, this would have all been on my hands because I don't know how to not be messy. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's finding that out. She um, right now she's uh, ooh, I'm bubbling it up talking to y'all. That would just be texture. No. All right. Look at my poor crafter's companion. Uh, I tried to clean it. It don't work. The CC crew would be proud. <laughs> oh, they know I use it a lot. <laughs> yep. Mrs. Dry. Uh, so, so you watch pimple pop popping at YouTube? Oh no, I don't like. Actually, I don't like that. Okay, so here's black, and you really can't see it, but there's a bit of the copper undertone on it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. So, uh, I wish this would go down a little bit more. For some reason, it's like stuck. Maybe I'll put something heavy on it. Okay. All right. So, next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of more copper on it. Is this in frame? Yeah. Okay. okay. And... I have not washed my brushes. A lot of the kids are, a lot of the kids are making my ovaries. What? I don't know. You're going to have to clarify that statement. Amy's making me scared. <laughs> Why are they making your ovaries? I think she's saying they're making her ovaries hurt. Oh. So <laughs> leave having so many kids. Oh. Seven. Oh, yeah. Talise, you, you Talise has my utmost respect because right. I could only do one. And that tried my patience for 20, what is it? Eight, 26, mm -hmm. seven years. I don't know. And she's still trying them. <laughs> yes, ma'am. June uh, wanted to know if that was Black Gesso again. Yes, this is Black Gesso from 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 amazon and it's called handy art because <laughs> it's handy to have the black jesu yes it is yes i'm feeling silly tonight i'm going to just take out all these because i'm going to need them 
And so I'm just going to have them off to the side. All right. You know how you remember, you don't remember how you did something? <laughs> what, you mean like every 15 minutes of my life? Yeah. Uh, this will be one of them days. I do not remember how I did this. Oh, yeah. I made a whole lot of mess with that one. Did you just put the cardboard on top of that? What? <coughs> no. <laughs> you did not. I did not. What are you talking about? I did not. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. No, 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 no. Me either, Carla. What? We don't have kids. You know, they told me I had like a 5% chance of I have endometriosis. And they told me I had like a 5% chance uh, of having kids. And I was like, what? Okay, no kids. I was ready for it. I, I was thinking, I'm not going to be the mama. Yes, I'm going to travel. I'm going to do this. But did they tell you having one is harder than having none? <laughs> nope. All righty. I think I got that. So we, said that? we can have some of hers. No, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I'm past that need. I'm sorry. Right? I, I'm not feeling too awfully maternal at my age. All right. So there's where we're at now, if y'all can't see it. Let me see if I turn off this light. Might, for this camera, it might be better. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. It depends on what, what camera I have, what webcam I have. If it's a webcam or the camera. Yeah, this one was a... Whew. See, I even stapled this to the thing so I can keep it in frame. So now I got to move it. Right, Carla. What? I was never given that option. That was something we knew. Oh, what? But that was just, yeah. Yeah, they told her she. Yeah, you don't do it just for the sake of doing it. No. There we go. <clears throat> so. That's in, that's in frame. Here we go. So I'm going to dry this. And everything's going to fall. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I would have adopted, you know, years ago if oh no situation, but yeah, with I've always had health issues. I didn't want to try to cope with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Don't need to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> she will be here all week, people. Uh, I have to dig deep to be grateful. You know, I have to say the one thing that I am so grateful about, because I, I was actually afraid that only having one is like, what if you mess up that one child? <laughs> you ain't got no second chance. Right. I can I can definitely understand that. They can be the you know at the same time. I, but, but that's just family in general. Whether it's children, you know, re, it, all relatives, they're the greatest source of of joy and love. And at the same time, they they also are the greatest source of pain. It right. goes both ways. You got to be willing to deal with both. And well. Well, thank God I didn't mess up that one. She turned out to be the most, <laughs> like I'd be sitting, when I'm sitting at work and people are talking about their children and complaining and da 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 and having a fit. And I'm like, uh, uh, well, um, she don't do any of that. Right. How you doing tonight, Tiffany? Do, 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 do. 
I just wanted to bring the black out of some of these. I don't know why I'm doing that. Right, Carla. Exactly. Okay, so we got this dry, got the background, and we are good to go. And we are ready for the gluing. Um, oh, I'm like, where do pieces go? So what I did before, and I can take my gloves off, I think. Uh -huh. um, yes, I love that canvas. You know, they have that, I, sh I think Martha's the one that um, showed that eyeshadow from, okay, I just need this to be, and. Well, you had me at coffee. That's all you had to say there, Tiffany. Oh, wait a minute, who has coffee? Coffee. She's starting to decide between coffee and craft or go to bed. Coffee and craft, of course. Right. What? In, what are you thinking of? Coffee and crafting in bed is even better yet. Right. All right. So I'm trying to figure out what wording I want. Life is good. And this is a Michaels, and it says believe or believe. I put dreamer on the other one. Or. I was going to put believe right there. But that changed the whole dynamic of, of the one I did before. <laughs> Which ones do y'all like? Because I don't see any shade of red. If it's supposed to be copper, it looks brass. No, it looks copper. Freaking camera. Let me see if you can see. It's it. kind of like a halfway in between for me. Yeah. Plus, it has that darker um, background. Right. Yeah. Believe. So, we have one for believe. <laughs> She's switching to iced coffee, working working my way off. Help me. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's just making me giggle. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Two for believe. Okay. And I actually want this to be straight. And I'm OCD, so I'm going to stand up and look. I don't drink. It looks pretty straight. All right. I'm with you, Talise. As long as it's coffee, it doesn't matter to me. I think I'm going to. Oh, Tiffany. <laughs> Hey, Tiffany. I love coffee. <laughs> and more than her, I changed the subject, right? <laughs> oh, boy. That's getting into a totally hot oh, that funny. Uh, <laughs> I changed the subject. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Okay. So, I think we're going with belief. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to glue her down. I'm going to glue her down. Okay. I've had wine. No, just kidding. I've had coffee. I am high on coffee, y'all. I decided to go to Starbucks because my dog drove me to drink at the freaking um, pet store. First of all, he kept on eating stuff out of the basket, so I had to keep paying for stuff. <laughs> so I'm talking to the to the guy because I couldn't figure out what dog food that my daughter decided to uh, get the dog. She changed it. So while I'm talking, he is over there having like pig ear, like he's all up in the bin. He was on his hindquarters <laughs> in the bin. And I was so embarrassed. <laughs> so I had to buy a freaking 10 pack of them. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I can't. I so a video. She's going through the pet store and there's like a line of wrappers behind her. <laughs> oh my god. So but they, but they're so nice there. I think it's uh what was it? It wasn't Pet Smart, it's uh Pet Supplies Plus. Oh. So then <laughs> the yeah. guy was like, Well, I can give him a biscuit if you want. I'm like, God, I it's like a little child when you take him to the um grocery store and they start grabbing food like you don't feed right. at home. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I felt like. I was like, I haven't felt like that in years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barbara, coffee is not good when you have the flu. I'm that's just saying. Awesome. As much as you would like to have the coffee, the coffee is not good for flu. No. Oh, wait a minute. We want it this way. And there we go. Put her down, put her down. Yeah, I remember, oh, oh. Now, I don't know how many people have gone through this. Okay, this is if you got kids. I was in El Paso, Texas. It was just me and my daughter. And um, <laughs> we were at the grocery store and usually, like, probably once every couple of weeks, I go to the grocery store. And so my daughter, she likes her little cheese puffs and her snacks and all that good stuff. So I decided I wasn't going to get her. I was going to get her like maybe one. I'm just going to rub a little bit here because I'm going to glue. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the art. This is the new Firebird. Oh, my God. Tiffany used this too. And I use it on the other one. This is yeah, my <laughs> Favorite color. Oh I freaked God. out over that one the other day when Tiffany was using it. Oh, oh my gosh. This is my absolute. Oh, see, I didn't put on the gloves. You forgot to remind me. And uh, she's asking, are those the new uh, Prima molds? Yes, they are. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I love these molds. I have. I can't even put them up because I keep on using them. And I don't, if you just arrived, and let me explain, I have found that I cannot go back to white resin. This is the Illuma Res, and it's uh, by Illuma Light. They do have the um, version that they have in the Michael stores, which is probably their lower end version. And I don't know if y'all can see how well this resin takes the wax. It takes paint the same way. Oh my gosh. But I find myself not going back to the regular resin because I just love this black. And then they have tan. I don't know if y'all seen the tan. I, um, I know I've squirreled. Sorry. <laughs> and these are the, uh, the, what did I just knock down? Um, this is tan. And let me autofocus this freaking camera. I tried to be a professional night and use my um, camera. Hey, Aang, and uh, Angel Rose is here too. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Ange. So these are the tan. And this is the new Prima um, molds as well. This is, let me see which one it is. I got to start grabbing. Um, This one is... A uh, fairy garden, part of the fairy garden. Um, this one is part of which one is this one part of? Oh my gosh, I was just looking at it too. I know, I love this one. This one is part of Art Nouveau, and this one is part of I've molded them all, Flower Queen. But either it's either tan or black. I, I tried the white resin and I was like, eh, no, going back to tan and black. So, but yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll see what's on. Wait a minute. Can't have alcohol because of meds. Barbara. Stay away from the alcohol. You yeah. don't need that. No alcohol. Yeah, no alcohol. But yeah, so we're in the grocery store, Walmart, of course. 
and my daughter is grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. She is actually, she was three, I think. She was having a freaking fit. Oh <laughs> she was just acting up. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Any, you know, I'm getting frustrated. You work all day and then you come home and then child's acting like, you know, like those children. <laughs> like fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I just left the cart and I started walking out the store with her and told her that I'll just drop her off at the babysitter's and we'll come back later. She takes, oh boy, the loudest scream ever. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And says, but mom, I'm hungry. I haven't had any food. Oh, Lord. No. Oh, my, oh, my gosh. I can see people picking up. I don't even know if they had, like, people use cell phones like that back then. But I can just imagine people on their cell phones calling social services. Hey, Toby. <laughs> hey, Toby. Yeah, we missed you in the mixed media class the other week. What do I want to do? I want to put this one in the corner. And I'm just picking up all these little knobs and stuff out of the Mechanica. Um, in the Mechanica, they have these um, like uh, Phillips heads and screwdriver heads and flat back heads. I don't even know if y'all can see that. But they're really neat. So I'm putting them on the corners of each of this little canvas. And if I don't burn myself, we might be good to go. It's like having a plethora of stuff to choose from. I'm just having fun. Okay, I don't want that one. I want this one. What is this one? The one with the flat. I know y'all can't see this. Wait a minute. Let me see if y'all can. I don't know. It's a hex bolt head. There you go. See, y'all can tell I don't fix nothing in the house. <laughs> and that one is. I can't see that one. There we go. Flathead. That, that's the other one. Flathead screw. Yep, flathead screw. So they have different ones, and then they have the Phillips one as well. Um, the other one, though, if it isn't a hex hole in the middle, hexagon, then it's probably a rivet. I just couldn't see it well enough. Yeah, mine's called Call the Handyman. <laughs> call the Handyman. Yeah. Like, I would be one of the people that they would seriously take advantage of. Joe, like, now you know nobody has any control over that. Running back and forth, cooking dinner for the Meg. So, Penny, don't let Nikki do anything crazy. I, hey, I am gluing is all. See? Nothing crazy. No experimenting tonight. Every disaster starts while, while out with all I'm doing is dot, dot, dot. No, no. Okay. So, June, just to let you know, just to let you know, I have come to the conclusion that the my resin experiments I have to see. Here it comes. I have decided I am going to get the resin coloring. <laughs> Oh, I thought for sure I was going under the boss when you said no, that. No, 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 no. I, I literally got the resin coloring because I don't think I can take any more experiments. The cam is super blurry. Thank you, Amy. Oh, sorry. Oh. Hello, Miss Angel Rose Vanessa. There you go. Perfect. I know. I forgot to put it back on auto. See? I was trying to be a professional with the camera. This does not work for me. So we're going to have to work that out a little bit more. Okay. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking the cogs and wheels that are in the um, mold and I'm just arranging them. I'm going to try to, it's going to be a little bit different from the previous canvas I did because, oh, I had a pouring accident in June. I over poured. That's all I did today. Didn't burn though. Didn't no, burn. There was no smoke. No, no smoke. No nothing. 
It's all good. <laughs> however, however, guess what we are going to do starting March. Well, well, while we're talking about March, oh, and Tiffany's here. Um, do not forget, and I know everybody has looked at the um, Facebook post that I put for a world of heart. 24 hours, 24 crafters on March 30th and 31st. They have sponsors and prizes. So if you're anything like me, I'm going to stay up and I'm going to watch pretty much everybody. <laughs> right. It's going to be so much fun. It's a crafting palooza. Yes. I mean, like, you're going to seriously get your crafting on. Tiffany is going to start it off at 7 a.m. So we're all going to be up and watching that one. And then they're going to have, oh, my God, so many great crafters. The Facebook link is posted um, for the group, and that's where you'll find the list of, list of crafters, their times, and their Facebook channels. So make sure you go and subscribe to them because this is going to be right. I don't know, Penny, can you grab the link from um, the Facebook and put it in there? I uh, sure can. She sure can. And yours truly, I'm going to be on at the Vampire Hour, which is, you know, my favorite hour. Um, I think I want to put that one there. Yes, I do. And I think Crystal is going to be on 8. PSD? I'm not sure. Uh, do I want to put that there? No, I do not. I want to put this right there. <laughs> I'll watch. Rarely sleep anyways. Oh, I know you will, Carla. She's, she's part of the vampire crew. Amy, vampire crew. June, June, I know you try to be a vampire vampire crew, but yeah, you'll be asleep by twelve. Ah, I need my dripless glue gun. That is a link for the event. Yes, yes, yes. So you need to keep an eye on that. And you will start seeing posts everywhere. Okay. Shh, don't tell June. I had a glue accident. Shh, where's June? Oh, shoot. There she is. She's back. I'm drinking coffee. I want to be there for support. Oh, my God. June. I'm serious. The vampire hour. I'm going to have to have Tony go to Starbucks or Caribou or something. and oh, I'm going to have my coffee. Big, what are they called? The big box of coffee? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have It's like two gallons of coffee. I'm going to, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm taking Friday off and I'm going to sleep most of the day. Oh, I would hope. And I want to watch everything. I'm so excited. I mean, even if I wasn't doing it, I would still sit there and watch everything. It's going to be so funny. I'm thinking I should get a bib because I know I'll probably pass out at some point off and on. <laughs> I don't want to drool all over my desk or my keyboard. Uh, do I want to put that there? What are y'all thinking? Yeah, don't, don't. Oh, shit. That's... I need my keys. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> That's very nice. Should I put some more? Should I put some more? Yes. Can IVs. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh my gosh. We need to go find those beer hats. You know, with oh. the, like, the two oh. beers on the side. And then you have that that hose going to your mouth. Except for we're going to be filling it with coffee. And I ain't, oh. talking, about, I ain't talking about no breakfast blend. I'm talking oh, about some cake or something mixed in with the coffee. Right? <laughs> coffee will soak it up and drink your cake too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chocolate and ooh, coffee. No, just coffee. 
<laughs> some strong, strong coffee. <laughs> I want it hanging off a little bit, but I want it hanging out. Yeah, just a little bit, like right there. All right. And this looks a little naked. Tiffany, that's what I drink too. What? Dark roast all the way. I know that it's less caffeine, but it has to be dark roast. Has to be dark roast. Oh, with a little bit of cream brulee um, in it. That or um, French vanilla or sweet cream. Oh. <laughs> I know I like my sweet cream too. Christine, I have no idea. I have to honestly say I have never shopped for a beer. <laughs> I would assume you probably get them in any state. I don't know. It's but we need to. We have to re um, do it. It's got to be a coffee hat. Can't be a beer hat. She said, can you get them in Minnesota? Because that's the state hat here. <laughs> Is it? I, I have no idea. And as y'all can tell, I'm going off the canvas. Uh, let me see if I can get this clip. Oh, wait. I forgot. I, I got really Zoom. Wisconsin, Christine. Yeah, it's definitely. Hey, y'all. Guess what? I've discovered the Zoom. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm a professional now. I can zoom. <laughs> All right. It's still kind of dark. Eh, don't like that light either. Okay. And that's no joke. It is really a thing, and that is the type of coffee we drink. Oh. Oh. That's that Death Wish coffee, right? No. Yeah. Oh, God. I love this. I've tried it. Someone has it at work. I don't oh. The flavor, did I not tell you that stuff is the most amazing flavored coffee I've ever had, other than, you know, in different countries. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is it really strong? Uh, I don't think it is, no, but. Okay, does Tony think it's strong? No, we both love strong coffee though. So okay, would the normal coffee drinker think it's strong? Um, possibly. Okay, send me some. I would say possibly you might think it was strong. Alrighty. All right, so I piled that up. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me. I know everything's kind of dark. There we go. Very nice. Oh, oh, just look at the detail right now. Okay, so that's kind of just piled up. It's called the corner pile. <laughs> when you don't know nothing else, you corner pile it. <laughs> oh, here it is. And I'm just gonna put this little key. And I'm, I'm kind of like, I probably will do be doing projects with this stuff like for a while. I'm, I am currently working on, <laughs> if I can ever finish it. Penny knows it's <laughs> the steampunk trunk, but I look okay. Uh, I'm so excited about finishing it. Don't let the cat out of the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got all our little elements on let's see if i can find this oh it didn't mess up okay so oh, it didn't no okay y'all so this is what happened what happened was let me auto focus this well what happened was before I went on, I was like, oh, I forgot one little element. So I was singing and having a good time and drinking my little coffee. And I didn't use, and this is why I say, use a pour spout cup. Because if you do not, you will get this. <laughs> and I actually cleaned it up a little bit so it wouldn't be all over the place. But yeah, I seriously mucked that up. But it still worked out. So... This is a little element from, let me see which one in this one. Yeah, which one is that one? Hold on, I have it, I have it. This is 
the Annabelle mold. mold. That's where that face is from, Annabelle. Yeah, Annabelle. Okay. Sorry, Annabelle. And we have all of these in the story also. And I think it's, yeah, we're kind of down to the last few. These things are like hotcakes, I'm telling you. Yeah, they're flying. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. Well, she had wind damage to her hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But I, I'm telling y'all, this, and just think, you don't even have to paint it. You can just put it on a project. Look at her eyes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that was almost creepy. They looked real for a second at that one angle you were holding it. Okay, I'm no, I'm squirreling y'all, but um, oh, sorry, I'm squirreling y'all, but I just got to do this. <laughs> All right, so let me get this to focus right. So you just put it. Oh, oh my goodness. God. <sighs> And you could do whatever color. And that was just one finger little tip in the wax. And it does the whole thing. But. Oh, that's so pretty. And, oh. and the eyes do. They do look like they're haunting. Don't they? Right? That's a little creepy. <laughs> wow. Yes. Amy. Yeah. Amy's been a little bit sick. So I never have my sister. Trying to so catch many people. Um, how would you re remove the excess with the waxes, uh, Amy? You can buff it with a paper towel or a cloth. Yeah, you can. Now, usually, what I'll do is I usually take a wet paper um, wet wipe, or you can take a paper towel, or you can you actually use a brush if you just want to take some off. I usually like doing this and it dries right up and it, it'll take most of it off. Isn't that pretty? Now it just gives her like almost like a, I don't know what I want to say. It's a sheen, but it's not like big metallic. Yeah. And I always keep a little towel next to me. So I just wipe it off. That's pretty. But don't let it sit. If you um, put, the wax is on. Do not let it sit too long. I have learned that it'll be harder to get off if you let it sit too long. Oh, She's this is talking funny. about how do we get rid of the uh, the extra resin? You can oh. literally just cut it. With, yeah, cut it with the scissors. Oh, it's really easy. Um, usually, what I'll try to do, like I did with this one, is I will wipe it off. I will take either a stylus. Um, a stylus or I will take a wet um, paper cloth and I'll just wipe it up. Let me find the one that I messed up and I just wiped it off and it was fine. It doesn't have to be neat because you can wipe this off and it peels right off. Yeah. So I just haven't taken the time to peel it off yet. Usually you can cut it if you have a Dremel, like here's a little extra here. It's really thin. So these can just pop right off. Oops. These can just pop right off and it's fine. If you find that you really over poured and it's really, really thick, then, um, then um, you would probably use like a Dremel or something like that. And that should be fine. It's not too bad. All right. Back to the project. Cause I've squirreled once again. <laughs> project a bit to the right. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, Okay. Where was I? I love okay. the color. So, when I first initially did it, and I don't know how quick y'all saw the post, <laughs> I posted it without this. And as y'all all know, I always look at stuff and then be like, oh, I could do this. Oh, I should do this. And then I do it. And it doesn't even look like that. So, after the project um, was complete, I saw this piece and was like, oh, that looks like a little body. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, right there. I'll put something heavy on here. Okay. So that is what, for right now, it is my little body.
Well, while you're gluing your body, I'm going to grab some coffee. Some of your I, I heard my coffee pot gurgling. I think it said my name. It could happen. I keep Don't thinking talk. about the pre my graphic. For, oh my gosh. Let me tell you. Graphic 45. I haven't, uh, and I hope they're not watching, but I have not bought Graphic 45 in two years. But when I saw their new paper line, I almost had a fit because I, I loved it. I absolutely love, they knocked it out of the park with that love notes that, and the um, uh, accessories and everything that go with it. They're just absolutely gorgeous. All right. I like my little moon and stars. I love astrology. I don't know how many of y'all like astrology. I love astrology. Oh, Tiffany, that is, oh, okay. So I don't, y'all know <laughs> I am a Alice in Wonderland freak. I love the book. Always love the book. I love the, um, uh, uh, all the movies. Yeah, pretty much all the movies. And do I want to put this on there? Yeah. I love the movies. And I love the Johnny Depp character. And um, so when they saw that Alice paper, oh my God. But what y'all don't know is they have molds to go with it. So it's going to be the Alice in Wonderland molds. They have a tea time mold, I think. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Good night, Vanessa. Vanessa, I hope you have my style. That's oh, gotta hurt. I have friends that have that. So sorry. All right. So we have everything glued down. Let me see if I can autofocus this. Let me know if y'all can see this or not. There we go. Um, I can't find all I want is. Okay, what paper are we look? I can't find the paper anyway. Alice, um, it's the I don't know who has it in stock. We're still waiting on it, so it should be here soon. Okay, I'm gonna wait to put this on, but I pretty much have everything glued down. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of. I still have some over there. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a mess. Oh, Carla, I love. I have the Alice in Wonderland. I found one of the um 19, I think the 40s. It wasn't too old books. And I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm not really brushing. I'm dabbing. Because I still want to see some of the black behind there. And we're dabbing here. And dabbing there and there and there. I don't know if y'all can hear my dog. He is chowing down. I got him the bone. That's the only way he's going to leave me alone while I'm on. <laughs> He is chowing down. And so we got that. Now I'm going to take a small paintbrush and I am going to get, hmm, I have these. I'm thinking about putting these art stones on here. I may or may not. Not sure. Hmm. Art stones or no art stones? I don't know. We'll see. All right. So, as you know, this is the um, Prima Finnebera. Uh, there we go. 
and this is the art extravagance and this is the rust effects paste and this is the red, uh, red rust it has it's very thick almost clay like and it has like sand sandy texture now you can put it on I'm gonna try to do this close up so you can put it on and then let it dry you can just kind of dab it around and put it on you just need a little bit what I like to do also and I learned this one from Miss Karen Tamia is oh I need my bucket is uh oh if you have your rust effects you can put a little bit on and then if you put a little spray on it and then it'll look like it's kind of dripping down so it's not as a heavy effect but it has a dripping effect and i'm going to do that underneath the wings i'm going to do it around the body and i'll probably do a little bit of a little bit of that up here and then I'll alter between the red and I'll alter between the brown. So, um, and there's three colors in that set, correct? Yes, there are three colors in that set. See, that's why I love Penny. She always keeps me on track. There is the brown. There is, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> there is the brown, there is the gold. And of course, there is the red. And they all have the red and the brown. I think this is kind of thick too. Nope. The red and the brown are more have a heavier sandy texture. Yeah, I can. And this one is a little bit more creamier. It still has a bit of a sandy texture, but it's not as as clay like as oh, me. It's so neat. Oh yeah. my gosh, those texture sets are amazing to play with. Yeah. Addicting. Yeah. The brown is actually, I call it the in-between, and then the red is the thickest of them. So you can alter between them. You can see which one I use the most, which is this one. For some reason, the, <laughs> it is, well, the yellow is the base. And then the brown and then the red to get the actual rust. Yeah. Right? That's the alternation I can't remember. Um, I usually go with the the brown and I put the red. I, actually, it really doesn't matter. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. You do what you want. But I know there was. Yeah. A, I just don't remember if, if that was why there's there are three different textures yeah you can use a sponge palette knife texture uh, paintbrush it really doesn't matter right now this is this is the one that i finished and you can see the this is the rust effects and then there's a little bit of brown on here it actually looks better the next day i may say oh i bet thank you please <laughs> yeah it looks much this one, oh, <laughs> very important fact. Do not forget to cover. <laughs> Put your cover back on your rust effects. Oh. Because if you do not, <laughs> it will dry out quick, fast, and in a hurry. Really? I'm going to spray off to the side. Well, question then, if that does occur to someone, um, I'm hoping the answer is yes. Would adding a few drops of glycerin probably save your product? You know, that is a good question. So I can uh, find out for you. I think Amy, because all colorants, as they dry, they dry darker. And once that color actually sets, then it's its true color. And the texture, once it's completely dry, all those little grains of texture really show up. As opposed to when it's, you know, damper. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Is that gorgeous? Oh. Wait a minute. Doing it on Valentine's Day. Am I calling myself a rusty old lady? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carla? Glycerin, it saves everything. It, it, it honestly does. I, 
I'm finding that out from people. Really? <clears throat> oh my goodness. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. I couldn't mute quick enough. That snuck up on me. Oh now, my goodness. And you want to, you know, depending on the size of your project, this is a small one, so I'm using a small brush. You can you can use palette knife. There's you know sponges. It just depends on what type of project you're doing. Uh oh, he finished his bone and he's back. All right. Who wants to know if um, the results would be different if you used a heat gun? Um, would it be different than what you see? You know, by letting it just dry for hours. Oh, I use a heat gun. It's just that once it really really sets. It just looks so much better. It really oh, does. That's gorgeous. I'm telling you. Okay, no oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. And I'm only doing like the first color. I am going to tone this down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a little bit of rustiness up here. Yeah, I should have re rethink this. I should have done like love notes, huh? I'm calling myself a rusty old lady. <laughs> <laughs> rusty and crusty. Rusty crusty. I know. Oh, <laughs> you know what was funny? I'm sorry. I'm not looking up with the results we did. Okay, use a heat gun. So I was uh, <laughs> I was playing around and singing really loudly, and uh, cause <laughs> cause Benny wasn't in hangout yet. So I was like, "Cray, cray!" Her dog literally was shaking, <laughs> shaking in his freaking boots. I'm well, like, I would shake two of them if I thought a banshee was coming. <laughs> it sounded like a car house. So, so we tested it out to see if it was uh, yeah. really the same. I just think no, because he was he. Last night, like we were trying to um, uh, get Penny to listen to this song, and uh, <laughs> she played the song, and the dog came running in and hollering and barking like he was going to attack somebody. I was yeah, like, oh, he was gonna "Tear oh. something up!" He was going to tear something up. I say he just don't like music. It's a dog that doesn't like music. My dog likes music. He relaxes. Barbara, I got all of mine from Amazon. Honest to goodness. Um, that's where I got mine. I got the little spray bottles from Amazon. And, and I yeah, and I actually search both um small spray bottles and Mr. Bottles. You're gonna find a lot more when you search like Mr. because yeah. they're small. Mm -hmm. And they're cheap. You can get them in sets like six. I thought more. I saw them at Walmart. Oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get to a Walmart, you'd be able to pick them up. Yeah. I thought I saw them at Walmart at one time. She was, she sounded like a banshee. She was singing like opera style, but in a funny way, deliberately being funny. <laughs> and I had my speakers all the way up. Apparently <laughs> he was shaking like a leaf in here. I didn't know what was wrong with him. Then I figured out that he, he slows down when she stopped singing. And so she started up. I literally put, it, put him on my table. I said, look at his ears shake. When you say. <laughs> I know. He literally was shaking, y'all. <laughs> like, oh, wow. That dog does yeah. not like singing. At all. There you go, Christine. Good idea. What? She said, "When you um looking at, like the travel, you know, little, little spray bottles for and shampoo bottles for travel. Yep, to be able to find them. I do. Gosh, I got one years ago from that section. Yep, 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 yep. Many okay. years ago. So I've put the red rust on. Am I out of frame? Let me know. I'm okay. sorry, I'm looking down. Is that paint, Nikki? No, this is um well." The rust effects is like, I guess you can say it's like an acrylic paint. It's like a thick paste, but it has um, like a gritty texture to it. 
I would say it's a heavy body acrylic. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Like it has paint in it, but then it has the um uh the grittiness in it, and it's like a paste, I guess you can say. Mm. It's really nice stuff. And there are so many different types of sets too. Oh my, oh, oh my god, they're all breaking. stunning. I'll, I'll break them out in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I can't. So I don't know if you remember last year. Right, Amy. Michaels had the Prima um sets up there. So um they don't they had the um I guess you can say the end cap of the aisle and um they had all the little prima paste on there so they had a 20 percent off sale one day oh my goodness oh yeah now I, it, it just happened to be i never have this kind of luck but this day i had a little bit of luck and um they had 25 percent off everything oh. they had a 50 50 percent coupon what oh yeah and then everything was on sale for like 30 percent and um so I, th I was like well i'm picking up these premium pays so yeah. i've been calling everybody i know uh you need to come help me push carts <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> i buy it in the store oh my god i had i i just oh my gosh crazy. and um yep i just got them all I busted my whole craft budget for that month. I couldn't buy you anything. Lucky they even had all those in stock when there was a sale like that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, it, it was crazy. All right. So I am going to, while I'm at it. Uh oh, okay. So my little acrylic paint dried up. Give it a little spray. We don't waste nothing. And we're going to reactivate it and we're going to use it. <laughs> Amy, where was all of us when that happened? Yeah, it was, I, I just, I couldn't help myself. We're going to have to shadow Nikki from now on. She leaves the house, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the sales. <laughs> you know, it just happened to be, I don't know what I was in the store for. Um, I think it was for. Nail. You know, I don't like, I want, the, yeah, I was thinking of coloring it black. I still may color the black. It, or the brown. Yeah. Rust effect brown. Oh, well, I'm going to put some rust effects around it. Okay. Y'all didn't even remind me to put on my gloves. See? See how y'all treat me? <laughs> I never wear gloves. I what is this neatness thing you speak of? I know, right? <laughs> that is. I clean my craft room, so I'm trying to keep it clean. And me. Oh, y'all. I had, oh. So the other day I was messing with paint. And so <laughs> I had a meeting the next day. Oh, no. Yeah. And I used the dilutions. Dilutions don't come out that easy off your hands. And... So oh, Amy said, you are required to give the information. <laughs> I have my little thing here. If you use your um, baby wipes, let them dry out. You can use this as a background. See, look at that color. That's going to turn out gorgeous on the background. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of paint and go around. I told Tiffany uh, yesterday with her live stream, it's like, oh my gosh, don't throw away the paper. You know, when she's doing all the experiments, it's like, don't throw that out. I mean, yeah, you could do, use that as background and everything else. It was so pretty, the piece of paper. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yeah. Your wipe napkins turn into a piece of art when you're doing things. Yeah, I, sometimes I use tissue paper. If I have a lot of it, like around Christmas time, you usually have a lot of tissue paper. Oh, sure. And I use it and put it in the bottom of the boxes sometimes. And then um, 
I always do this. I waste more 12 by 12 uh, craft paper than anything. Um, but um, then I'll put them in the bottom of the boxes. But then I'll, um, uh, after I finish spraying and doing everything, because, you know, paper towels, I, yeah, you can use paper towels, but then it's like, okay, you throw them out. You know, I try to be eco-friendly. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Well, it saves so much money, too. You know? It really does. That adds up when you're not throwing everything away and reusing. Right. If anyone find Okay, so... Oh, Amy said we are required to give the information. Okay, so I know y'all are like, what is she doing? Amy, how Girl. do you think I got the name that Enabler? She's right. Trying to share. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe y'all are wondering why I am painting it black after I just painted it gold. And then I'm painting it gold again. I mean, steampunk copper again. That's because I want that black to run into the um, steampunk copper. Layers. Just a little bit. And if you don't like it, you can always go back over it again and repaint it. But you have to do it kind of right away before the acrylic dries or you're not going to get that effect. And it's not real. It's just a subtle. Nothing. Kind of a dry brush look. Yeah. That's what it looks like from here. Yeah. Nothing subtle. I suck at dry brushing, <laughs> to be all honest. Yeah, I try to dry brush and it looks like I um spit up in in the in the dag on the project. What? <laughs> yeah, I just use too much. Dry brushing is not my thing. And it's it's really just kind of like not really ombre, just kind of a dirty gurdy kind of look. Dirty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Just a dirty, dirty look. <laughs> and it kind of blends in with that. Because I don't have any anything to frame it with. And then we're going to put a little bit of rust effects after I get it all down. And dried. I haven't dried anything in a while. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so good. It's an hour and a half, y'all. Might make it to two hours. Well, I'm not doing a four hour show. Oh, Lord, thank you. Because I'm going to be knee deep in some chocolate. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> what? I, just, I thought, but well, well, gee, you know, maybe you, you've purchased one of those chocolate fountains and you're just going to be running through it or something. Yeah. Oh my God, a chocolate fountain. You ever seen those fountains like at the um, at the town centers that the kids run in it? Yeah. We need that for adults with chocolate. That's what, I, that was my visual of you just yep. running through a chocolate fountain. Yep. And then the dogs would be on the side, on the bench, looking at the, um, at their owners like, what in the world? And why won't you let us in there? Hmm. No, cho no chocolate for you. No chocolate for you. All right. All right. I don't know if that's even. Does that look even? That looks even. It does. I know. I'm really having a lot of fun with mixed media, y'all. Wait a minute. Victoria! Hey, girl! Hey, Victoria. Wait a minute. Nikan? She says, hi, Nikan and Amy. I didn't see. Where's Nikan? I don't see Nikan. It's too early for Nikan. She's still did sleeping. She sneak, yeah, I don't say, did she sneak in when? Well, she's up in the middle of the night. I miss Nikan. And Sarah, Sarah, if you're watching or watching 
after this. Hello. That's who I have not seen in forever. Yeah, she's having issues with her uh, computer. I so know. she has not been able to type, but she does watch. So I have to remember to say hello to Sarah. Oh, she's, she is watching then? Well, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. All right, well. Hi, Sarah, if you're up late or early. Or early. All right. So now we have the Believe, and it's kind of off, but I like that. <laughs> I like it, too. All right. I'm surprised Hi, you did it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So now it's starting to get that little rusty look. Oh, good gracious. I'm trying to work this. Because I don't like the way the camera, um, when it has an autofocus, it never focuses right. Hold on. See, it's on autofocus. If I bring it up, it, yeah, it takes forever. I, ha I don't have patience. I do it myself. <laughs> All right. So y'all see that? So you got the little rusty, rusty nutties down there. You got your believe. You got your nuts and bolts on the on the corners. So now I don't know if I, if I want to play with the with the. I wonder if I add a few of these in there, or should I not? Then I would have to color them. I can stick it, stick them in the paint, or just put them around. Oh, I like, wait, 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 wait a minute. The face is scary. Christine, the face is not <laughs> scary. Wait till you get some Prima wax on him. He'll, he'll, you'll like him then. Christine, don't be as scared. It won't hurt you. I think I like the little, little thingamajiggies around the nuts and bolts. So I am going to knock them off. Yes, I am making a mess, but I had to see before I did it because I'm anal. <laughs> Already then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. I, just, I had to see, though, because I was like, I don't know, I don't know, look right. It actually does look right. All right. So I am going to go get some media glue. Or should I, 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 I'm going to put it, actually, let's see if we can put it, I'm going to do two things. I love these little trays because I can just sit there and mess these up all night long. And then you can just clean them up. Um, she still is enjoying her Valentine's Day. Yeah. Or she's even now. Yep. She's with from her. work. Yep. She's with hubby. Uh, I am going to mix some up and it'll do molding piss. Yes, I am making a mess per usual. I actually cleaned up, y'all. And it's not clean anymore. You can use um, matte medium gel. You can use uh, like media glue. You can use Mod Podge. White glue. You can use a white glue. You can mix it up. Bubble gum. You can, yep, you can mix it up and paint. You can pretty much mix it in anything. Okay, now that's a little mixed deal. And where do I want to put it? I, I have lost my palette knives. <laughs> I look, I probably have to order a whole, some more. I just got the little, little cheap ones from uh, Wally World. And I seem to have lost them all. So I'm just going to use what I got. 
Okay, that looked like cottage cheese, and now I'm hungry. Well. I haven't had cottage cheese in like two and a half years. And I used to be so addicted to it. And that looked so good. <laughs> cottage cheese. Oh, I love cottage ah. cheese. Okay, I hate cottage cheese. But if it's used in a recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like lasagna. Uh, no, ew, no, I don't want to change in my lasagna. Y'all know people have I've seen it. I like it in my mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have this recipe for mac and cheese, and it's a quick, and it's like my mom used to use it all of the time, and because she used to make the roux for the mac and cheese, and it just took too freaking long. So, uh -oh, you're getting stuck. So, um, um, she would take, uh, two parts cottage cheese and one part, um, sour cream, throw an egg in it and then, um, put some salt, pepper, paprika, uh, um. salt, pepper, and any other thing you can put cayenne pepper or anything like that. And, um, uh, mix it up in a blender because you got to get it nice, smooth, and creamy. And then, oh, I just all sounded all country, country fast, country fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, uh, and then, um, you put your mac, your macaroni in it, and then your two kinds of cheese. You can use the sharp cheese and Colby Monterey Jack. A lot of people like the Gouda cheese now in it, and um. And then bake it at 325. Easiest recipe ever. Cottage cheese, whipped cream, and sugar-free. Oh, what's that? Cottage cheese, whipped cream, and sugar-free. Oh, well, the cottage cheese and the sugar-free. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's that's really like, how would you even explain the type? It's, it's really thick and creamy, fruity. It's good. Ew. No. I, I just know you wouldn't think it would be, but it's really good. I just can't eat straight cottage cheese. Oh, I can't do it. I can't. Uh, I can't. Oh, oh God! I could eat an entire carton of cottage cheese. A little black pepper. I'm good. It would have been smart to clean these up. Before I started blow drying. <laughs> oh, the door is opening, muting for the spaz attack. <laughs> well, oh, I like the apples, the fresh dill, and the cumin, but the cottage cheese June would have to go. Mm -mm, can't do it. And I don't, and then the um, lasagna with the cottage cheese. Nope. I love it with spinach and Italian sausage. Oh my God, if I ever move to Italy, I will come back about 400 pounds. Or any Mexican food. That's my favorite. Italian is my first favorite. And, oh, no, a little bit more drying. And um, Mexican is my second favorite food. Oh my God. I have an uh, aunt that was Mexican. I don't know if she was really my aunt, but you know, like in families, you always have that, that person that comes around that they just call you aunt, call them aunt. Well, she was like one of those people, but she used to cook some good Mexican meals, fresh mocha, fresh um, salsa from the mocha heavy dish. she make her own tortillas and she would always have fresh guacamole, salsa, and tortillas waiting on the stove. How she did it, I don't know, because I used to eat them up all the time. Who got the chocolate? Um, yes, she did, Victoria. She got it fixed. Bo, coffee is like soda to me. <laughs> I will drink coffee like it, it is a um, delicacy. 
and I shouldn't have had it like tonight because usually I'll drink one cup in the morning, one in the afternoon at work. And then um, after work, I had another cup. So I'm like hyped up. <laughs> it's like, do this project, then do another project. Yay! <laughs> I like, you know, I like grits, but then I tried a recipe with like shrimp and grits or lobster and grits. I don't like that combo. I don't like the combo of lobster and grits or shrimp and grits. Yeah, that's good. I don't think this brush was meant to use like this. All right, I'm just going to pat it. We got a little, little more painting to do. And when you're doing like mixed media and stuff, if you find that you're like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Well, go back and do it. Because whatever you have on here, you can put it back on. Okay. Has everybody finished with their Valentine's Day dinners? Oops. All right. All right, I have my little water thing behind me. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put a little copper on it, steampunk copper. And then I think I'm going to, yeah, I kind of like that te texture. Because on this one, and let me show you this one, something was kind of missing. And I was like, Ugh. so I kind of like that texture around there. And you don't want a lot. Again, I'm just pouncing and then I'm spraying. And then I'm going to put a little bit of rust effects around it. And then we're going to call. Then we're going to start with the Prima waxes. Oh my gosh. I don't think I still ever used anything in here. I'm still off the don't using the cap. Uh, let me see. Thank you, Miss Victoria. If made correctly. Okay, well then I, I'm gonna need a recipe for uh grit. Maybe I'm not making them right. I just I just, I don't know. Okay, we are going to move stuff out of the way. And spray. I have it on auto. Let's see if auto works. <laughs> Probably does not. And I just like to spray it a little bit. And then do a little cleanup. I'm taking a semi wet brush. And then we're going to go around it with a little rust. And Sunny, oh, oh, sunny side eggs. No, okay, wait a minute. Mixed with sunny, ew, no, we no like runny yolk. No runny yolk. Yum, on grits? Oh, ew. The crap. Do not like that. You guys like sweet grits? 
You ever had them sweet? Uh, sweet? Yep. Mm. Yellow or white grits, doesn't matter. Nice bowl of it. It's just like cream of wheat. Put some real maple syrup or some brown sugar on top. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord. So good. Okay, this is a little bit too wet, so. I like Eggs Benedict. That was always one of my favorites. Okay, so I like Eggs Benedict, and but I don't like um, the hollandaise sauce. No, I like the holland. I don't like the runny eggs. So I I never ordered Eggs Benedict until the lady was like, "Well, you know, you can order um, yeah, egg hard cooked." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Really?" Well, of course. I was like, uh, "Of course, yes, you can." I was like, "Ew." Okay. Uh, it's not a true eggs Benedict, but it's close enough. Darn it. It's good. I, it, I can't see eating a dead chick's innards. That is not a chick. The eggs we eat are not a chick. They were, those eggs were never fertilized. Oh, oh. Yeah, I can't see it. can't see it. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to dry this a little bit. I'm going to put a little brown on it, and then we're going to start with the wax. The white liquid on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it, no, oh, no. See, the white definitely cannot be liquid. That, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Eggs must not like eggnog. Oh, I love it. No, oh, that's raw yolks. Well, don't tell me that. Then I won't like it no more. That's what it's made of. Like a whole dozen of I, them. I know, but you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I try to forget that. <laughs> so good and so bad. Right. Unfortunately, I really okay. that yummy is bad for you. <laughs> Oh, Victoria says she doesn't like um, uh, the noggy. Yummy. Mm -mm. All right. And I'm going, I don't, mm, let me see if I want to do the gold. Chicken and waffles. There's a good one. That's a good combo. No, I don't like the gold. I didn't like it last time I tried it. Still don't like it. Really? No, I didn't. Especially being in the South where they make it correctly, it has to be real Southern fried chicken for one thing. Um, I, you weird thing. I don't, uh, you know, I don't like fried chicken. <laughs> I know. Shoot me. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to have to leave this live stream. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it, but I, I just... I will take off the skin. I don't. First, I don't like the skin, the fatty piece. I only, I only eat white meat. I only eat breast. I oh, don't I don't need the skin anyway. That's yeah, that's not good. Yeah, thing. I don't like the fatty part. Yeah. No, I, oh, I love that one. <laughs> All right, so I think we're finished with rusty. I like Virginia ham. Uh, Except for I got a little ball in here that I got to get out that's white. There we go. It is the best part, but yeah, I, I well, I don't really eat meat at all anymore. I haven't. Yeah. That, but we have, okay. you know, turkey. I do like chicken fingers, the chicken tenders. Um, fingers, chicken tenders, yeah. <laughs> I used to get teased because pretty much everywhere we went, if they had chicken fingers, that's what I would get. So right. thinking, I don't know why. Some restaurants don't make them very well, but uh, the ones that do, I will. That's what I look forward to. I like them. I can't help it. We used to make. I used to make them homemade. All right. Any bones or anything to deal with. <laughs> All right, so 
Let's do a close up. And... All right, Victoria. Oh, she makes her own chicken fingers. Wow. Yeah, that's what we always did too. Or popcorn chicken. I did. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay. Why am I so crooked? Or is it the camera that's crooked? All right. So there we go with a little bit of texture. Oh, I like that. That looks really good. And then I put it up here as well. And you can see the rust effect is getting, looks better every time I dry it. All right. So, and y'all can keep playing around with it. You can keep adding and adding and adding it literally. Oops. See? I wear gloves. Look what happens. I still get messy. Do you have a meeting tomorrow? <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. No, I'm telling you, it was so funny because <laughs> so here I try to be a professional, right? I had on my little suit and everything, and I had to get this presentation. Oh, so so I'm giving the presentation. So I'm trying to hide my hands, like put them in their pockets and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara and Elise. And um, <laughs> so they were like, they were asking me about something on the brief, and I had to point to it. And oh, I no. yeah, whole finger was purple. Um, then <laughs> you would see the looks on their faces, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was painting last night, <laughs> and it doesn't come off. Well, they know I they know I'm into my craft, so because I bring a lot of it to work and put it on my desk. And then people ask, I'm like uh supposed to be um working on a banner for someone's wedding. Oh well, it's their meet and greet um to meet the groom. And so they're going we're having it at the lumber yard, which is just as a, as you um think it is. It is a um converted um lumber yard and has this old train in it and then they convert the train into a dining area so it is wicked um great all right so oh that would be some really neat ambiance going you know just the decor alone would be neat right it, oh my god i love the decor and they have fried avocado fries or yeah avocado oh. fries right <laughs> Um, so what I did last time is there is a little blue undertone in, um, the steampunk, um, copper. So I did, <clears throat> excuse me. I, um, did his face blue is I've named him. It's Jack. <laughs> uh, Jack in the moon. Yeah. So and you know and and the people that are in the beginning mix media class with me we're going to go over that monday just fyi color wheel but if you notice the blue does not look too far out of place uh -uh. Does, does everyone agree i was going to say even some green i have my new spray my lindy spray from queenscraftfair.com i know <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> Yep, she just ordered. Yes, this is. I've been wanting to bring that on there all night. And um, it has um, the half moon, which I love this one. I did it with a pearlized black. Um, I know I'm squirreling again. Sorry. So y'all know I like using my mica powders. Um, let me find the moon. Oh, here he is. So I used um, a pearlized black mica powder and look how gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> you can tell I was messing with them. And then I did it um, for the bigger face, but it came out so, uh, it's shiny, but it's not overly shiny. There we go. Right. But it's like a grayish. Pretty. Yeah. I love it. So it's like a, uh, it's not, it's, it says it's pearlized black, 
but it's more like a mica powder. And that's from the same company that makes the Illumares. Okay, so I am in love with the Firebird. I am not a bright, um, colorful person. <laughs> I like the darks, the blues, the, the earth tones. But I have to say, this, <laughs> this Firebird, I, if I could find a way to use it on everything, I would. <laughs> Like that doesn't go, Nikki. I don't care. Well, I, it's really strange, but just about everybody is saying the same darn thing. Right? Like that's the one they thought that they probably wouldn't like because yeah, a lot of people have an, an aversion to any tones of oranges, especially if it's bright. And it does have an orange hue because it's supposed to be it's fire. Yeah, it's the the, the color of flames. Right. And everybody is absolutely going gaga over this color, and nobody thought they would. Okay. <laughs> they were just going, I never thought I'd like that, but I was the opposite. I, w I wanted that one worse than any of them. Really? Yeah. And then stupid me forgets to order it. Duh. Right. <laughs> I, think some, I think someone beat you to it. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> right? Yeah, I didn't order it. I don't know why I wasn't. Um, I realized it after I'd already submitted my order. I'm like, um, I forgot my favorite one. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I'm hoping we get our uh, new order in pretty soon because this one is going like and Peacock. The other one, Peacock. Oh. Oh. When oh, Tim wow. uh, Solario put those together the other day, those. I were, oh my gosh. That was so gorgeous. I'm like, okay, didn't think about that. See, that's why it's good to watch other YouTubers. Mm hmm Because some things that you may be scared to do, they are not, and they can help you. That's why I'll, I'll watch everybody. You know, I think all the crafters on YouTube literally have, have helped each other without knowing it. Right, of breaking out of those those you know those little boundaries that we put ourselves in. Yeah, that's why I'm so excited because I like I haven't done cards in so long. Should I put the rust underneath the believe? Hmm. Yeah, why why not? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, kind of like you know, almost like a shadow for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I want some of these a little bit of wet. Now, everything's probably dried up in here, even though it looks like there's a whole bunch of uh, gesso in it. There's not. Okay, here's a question for everybody in chat. How many of you have gotten craft colorants, whether it's paint, paint, don't care. Why is it, or how many of you have ever looked at it and was so in love with the product that you actually like started looking at your home walls, the appliances, wondering, gee, I wonder if this would work on this. I want to do like the entire house. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I have done that. You don't want me painting the house. I can do smaller rooms. Yeah. It's called Call a Painter. Right. I, I've done it many times. I'll have something or stencil or anything. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, I could do the entire kitchen in this. <laughs> oh, I will have paint everywhere. Yeah, I cannot paint. Penny, why don't you ever? Why don't we ever see anything that you make? <clears throat> I, I don't make anything. She lies. She does. She is, she is not a shower YouTuber. No, I would never, ever, ever. Nope. Can't do it. I, I I couldn't do it. 
I'm a hoarder, yes. I am a hoarder. I have my uses. I just don't share them. Yet. Maybe someday. Okay. Don't like that. That that would be sharing. I need a little bit more red. T Tiffany said that. <laughs> what about faces? You post on Facebook. Yeah, you might as well give that up, Tiffany. She is not going to do it. Not yet. This this whole world of internet crafting is new to me. That's a, that's a whole thing. I mean, I've been passionate and involved in art all my life, but I went through some personal things actually um, that uh, made me stop with all the lose completely lose my passion for everything that had to do with arts and crafts on a personal level. Okay, I'm I never stopped enjoy watching everybody else. And uh, yeah, and, and now I'm getting it back. You know, I made a promise to someone who passed away and I, I'm going to keep that promise. So it, it, it's a big, long story. <laughs> Okay. Now, I think we're almost done. I just got to, I don't think I glued that down all the way. The beauty of the Sherbonder is it's skinny enough so you can put it up underneath there and give it a squirt of glue. I think I gave it a good enough score. Oh, thanks, ladies. All right. I'm not leaving his face blue, just in case y'all are wondering. We are going to one. Now, I learned this from a friend called Rustic and Angel. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. That you take a little bit of a another color silver and you want to highlight that wing and that draws your eye to where the believe is and then you want to go on the other side not the first uh, the, the first top wing but just the second wing oh I'm so I had it highlighted that makes me oh. happy seeing you do that Right? It's going to make her very happy that I remember. <laughs> well, it's not just the highlighting. I absolutely love the aesthetic of mixed metals. Yeah, me too. Uh, some people are just really against that, even in their clothing. They don't like to right. mix metals. It's like, mm -hmm. what? Okay, so this, uh, what I used is the uh, Arch Alchemy um, silver. Old silver. Is that the old silver? Yes. Oh, I love that one then. I don't have it. Don't think I have that one. There we go. It's the Cinema Art Alchemy Metallic Oat Soul. So, and then what that does is it draws your eyes right there, right across the canvas. I'm kind of liking the blue in the middle. What are y'all thinking? There is a ratio to blend metal nicely. The metal colors, Amy. Um, it's kind of how when you look at it, if it's good question. Yeah, you know. Dang, that's well, funny, Amy though. always has good questions. Um, we should just have her in the audience just to ask questions. <laughs> She's like, well, you know, everybody's like, does anybody have any questions? And nobody says anything. We need an Amy. She should be like the question lady. You should. Well, and she that could be a job. comes up with questions that people didn't even realize that they wanted to know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for this, um, when I was putting the 
the rust effects on there and I'm thinking that it's too much, then I will tone it down with a little bit of brown. And it's sort of like, let me to take off this. It's sort of like um, just kind of eyeing it for me. I don't know about everybody else, but for me, it's kind of eyeing it. Like this is all of the copper, but I want that to pop. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not I'm playing with the idea of leaving his face blue. That's why I haven't went over his face yet. <laughs> but yeah. The focal. yeah. <laughs> but like with the steampunk copper, it for me it was a little bit too much. And so I just kind of toned that down as well a little bit with the black and a little bit with the rust and then if i saw that it was too much i just put a little bit of the um brown on there so yeah it's it's just kind of what you're looking at like if you're looking at this and it's too much of the red rust then it's going to take away from the other colors that you have there i don't know i don't know how to do it <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I still haven't done the silver yet. I'm putting a little bit of silver here and a little bit of silver here and a little bit of the copper. I like this little button to be silver. I don't know if you... Let me see. On this one, I put a little bit of silver, a little bit of copper, but there's a blue oh. undertone in his face, if you notice. Oh, I like it where it's half and half. It's part one yeah. metal. Yeah, yeah, that turned out really good on the face. Yeah, and then this one's silver, and then the wings have a little bit of silver. Not too much silver because then it just takes away. It doesn't look right to me. I don't know if there's a better way to explain it. I will try um, and find you an answer, Amy, and get back with you. Thank you, Miss Christine. Okay, so the blue face. Okay, I love the blue face, but think there should be a little more blue elsewhere. Just yeah, I'm not keeping the face blue. And welcome back, Kamala. Hey, Carla. Yeah, we're almost, 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 almost finished. And of course, my favorite. So this doesn't look, if you notice, it doesn't look as Oh, I'm not sad, honey. I'm fine. Thank you, Tiffany, though. It doesn't look as orangey as, or fiery, I should say, as the face. That's because of the blue undertone. So if you want to tone, tone that down a little bit, I use the Mystic Turquoise. You can also use the Peacock Feathers. Although the peacock feathers is a is a more vibrant blue, I think. Uh, what was the other one? Is it bl blue? The one I got, Blue Lagoon. Is that the name of it? Blue Lagoon. That old denim peacock. Yeah, old denim too. That would look cool. And then there's Blue Lagoon. Now blue. this one is a deeper blue. This one's more of a vibrant blue. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's like sapphire blue. Right? That's beautiful. Oh my okay. god. Let me do it on. Oh, let's do let's see. Do it on her face. <laughs> Just practice on this face. Oh my gosh. As soon as it hit it. Oh my gosh. Look at that on the black. Oh, sorry. That is gorgeous. And what was the first color that you would put on there and then rubbed off? Uh, that was the Firebird. Look at the color. It made that, between the two, it's almost teal. 
Oh I know. my gosh. I'm trying not to make my mouse color, uh, <laughs> color with uh, metallics. There we go. Wow. Now it probably looks, let me try it on some white. That's the black. Yeah, it'll be completely. Um, yeah, it'll be completely. Uh, Tiffany Solario, she's experimenting. <laughs> yeah. she's know, Tiffany has everybody experimenting now. I was. Oh my god! Today. Oh my gosh! That was oh, that was fun to watch. Yeah, that was nice of her to do that too. Actually, um, it takes a time. You know. I'm trying to. You know. Okay, this is a big one. So this is the. Uh, I was, okay, so. Look at little feeties. I know. <laughs> Chubby little feet. So it's more vibrant, like on the white. Oh, there we go, this way. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous colors. Then it would be on a black. There we go. And then the, see, Penny, you always get somebody to experiment. Uh-oh, busted. She's figured me out. It's not going to work anymore now. <laughs> you go over to Tiffany's show and get spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Getting spoiled over here. I'm glued. You know, every time you guys are messing around, I'm glued. Yeah. You in June. Uh, no, okay, it's this... here in June. <laughs> okay, this is the old denim. Oh, wow. Yeah. Old denim is a deep, deep blue. Okay, I'm running out of fingers, but okay. <laughs> let's go with, uh, let's do his leg. And they all the blues go together. This is a this is like oh my god this I love this balloon. Wow. He's a blue angel, blue angel. That's the blue denim. All right, y'all. I'm going to work with blue hands tomorrow. How am I going to explain this? Tell them you're watching a Smurf movie and eating blueberries. <laughs> Smurf movie. <laughs> huh. There's a Smurf movie. Use a toe. Victoria, <laughs> Victoria say use a toe. Ah. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> oh my god. Go oh, painting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> use a toe. Just that won't work in summertime. Oh <laughs> my god. I can see it now. It's that like, people, people <laughs> that don't know me. <laughs> All of a sudden, see a toe up in the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's winter, so I don't. Just, just randomly hitting live streams, and you see somebody up there with their toe. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. What on earth did I come to? <laughs> it's a yoga video, yoga art. <laughs> okay. So that oh. is like a lighter blue and it complements that um what was that logo? I have now I got peacock. It. Yeah, the look. Yeah. No, I have blue. Yeah. yeah. This that is more, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but this is more of the, the bluey, and this is more of a the uh going on to the um with the green undertones. Okay. I like all three colors. I, I would oh penny. Yeah. Come here so I can touch your face. Don't. Nope. <laughs> Boop prints on the nose when he comes back over and bugs you. Oh. Boop. Yeah, these these colors are gorgeous. <coughs> they are beautiful. Yeah. I'm, but you know what I do? Oh crap. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm coloring my desk. Victoria, change that. Don't ever grow up, first of all, because there's no fun in that. Just get the color. Right? 
Don't grow up, though. Uh, yeah, I have, um... Ooh, good gracious. All right, so... Oh, here we go. I was showing y'all this. So, what I did is I put a... Oh, come on, autocorrect. See, that's why I don't like auto. If you notice, you really oh. don't see the blue anymore, but it's right in the undertones. Yep, and on the screw below, too, a little bit. A yep. little bit on the screw below. And then I put a little bit of silver on this screw, and then a little bit of silver on the side. I'm going to put another little bit of silver on this side just to frame his face a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, when the peep. <laughs> when. When is the peep. Oh. Peacock wax. The peacock wax is in. I think we still have one. I will check when I finish putting the silver around his face. Barbara has a, an entire haul coming. You know, Barbara, you know, you have to realize that you must be a pretty nifty keen person if everybody in your family showers you with gifts like that. Right? And not just the husband, but the kids. Oh, the kid oh, the kids worship Miss Barbara. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if yeah. her family is that thoughtful towards her like that all the time. That that says a lot volumes about who she is. Mm, I decided I was going to put a couple of highlights on the uh, gears. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, me knocks it off. You glue. No way. Right? I've never even seen that happen. No, I know. I change glues. I usually use Gorilla Glue. And I was doing, I was cleaning out my glue gun. So I stuck with the little circular glue that you got from Michael. Yeah, don't use that. Uh oh. There. Now it's sticking. I can't even remember what gun I have. Yeah, I use my favorite is Gorilla Glue. Ever since I um um used it on that glass, I have loved it. Never turned back. It yeah right. And I do I know for sure I do not have any of the Gorilla Glue sticks. So yeah, and it sticks to glass everything. Oh, and I use it on the stockings as well. And them stockings are solidly made. For my no sewing. So, a couple of announcements. I uh, just want to go back again and remind y'all that, and we're going to be saying this every live show I do, A World of Heart coming um, March 30th. And, 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 March is going to be so serious. Serious. Go serious, serious. Say that three times real fast, Penny. No, no, I told you hey, I was hey, going to do hey. that. Say it, say it, oh, Penny. What? Penny, Penny. Come on, somebody, somebody do it for me. You're the only one here. <laughs> <laughs> I am not saying that three times fast. It is not. No. So serious, serious. So serious, serious. So serious, serious. <laughs> and that is when I am going to learn how to sew. Miss Mary Gerald Phillips and whoever else that knows how to sew can come on the panel. Talise, yes, Talise is going to be one of them. Miss Mary Jarrett Phillips <coughs> is going to be another one. Who? Crystal. Who else? Crystal. I know there's a bunch. Go back. Hey, we're going to have everybody on there because it's going to take a village. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a village. I have. Uh, Jean, don't you so too? No, Jean's going to learn. Okay, then that's why I'm who Barbara sews, right? Barbara. Barbara's gonna break out her sewing machine. She's oiling it up. Oh my gosh. Yep, Carla sews. Oh. What about you, Toby? Thank you, you please. Toby, Toby, I think Toby sews. Yeah. 
I knew there was a bunch of people that that sewed, so it's like, oh, good. Well, we have lots of teachers there because I've. Oh, Carla said she's gonna she's gonna watch. Yeah. Okay, Carla. So it could go very right or it can go very wrong. We don't know yet. <laughs> I have never sewed. Hey, Sherry. Oh, you're kind Hi, of Sherry. Nice, but that's okay. Let's show Sherry what we did. Sherry, I'm sharing with Sherry. <laughs> and this is what I did. We used the new Prima uh, Molds uh, Mechanica Cogs and Wings and Stars and Moon, because that's where we got this little piece from. And we used, uh, what was this one? Ooh, where did it go? I tried to keep everything out so I wouldn't forget y'all. Um, Annabelle, where we got this little piece from. We used the Rust Effects and a little Fab uh, Michaels, Believe, and um, Steampunk Copper Acrylic Paint. And then we used some of the um, Art Stones to give it a little bit of texture. And we came up, and it's only four by six, so it's a really cute. It always looks so much bigger on camera. I don't know why. It does, doesn't it? It always looks so much bigger. Uh, oh, you said stock, stocking up on bandages and bastard. Yep. <laughs> on the bandage and bastardation. I might have holy fingers when, and I don't mean Jesus holy. Uh, like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm talking like holy, like holes in them from the needles. Cause, oh, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm just hoping nothing um, happens. So, <laughs> then I have a sewing machine. I have the materials and um, I have the inclination. I don't have the know how. <laughs> what? Have a, yeah, and it's a crafter's companion. Yes. And I have the die cuts for the quilting die cuts from Crafter's Companion. Read what Talise just said. Imagine um, the terror. Civil War era ball gowns and day dresses when I was in college. See? Right people, right time. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Barbara said she made throw pillows using her dad's shirts after he passed. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really sweet. I got two weeks to do a baby quilt. She cover. Oh Lord. See, Christy. Look at all the sewers in here. I know. Who would have guessed? I got two weeks to do baby quilt sheet, cover some foam all for a cradle. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. That's going to be nice. That, oh. See, I, I love that. Oh, do we are just don't know. know. If there's a zombie apocalypse, at least we'll be able to fix our clothing because you know we're only going to have one set. <laughs> right? Look, we got to be ready. <laughs> got to be ready. Uh, look, Sherry, 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 if my house is on fire, <laughs> I would grab all my crafters companion and run down the steps <laughs> and Prima and Stamperia. I just can't decide, but crafters companion will be up there. I love my crafters companion. I got the Gemini sewing machine and I'm ready to learn. Hey, Tiffany, once you learn how to sew, you can combine your beating with your sewing. There you go, Tiffany. A beating class. Oh, you know, you should get with Martha. Right. You're going to be wearing sheets. Toga, <laughs> toga. <laughs> well, you know, my friend used to sew and she had all of this um, uh, material she got from Germany. So at the time when I was a little bit skinnier, um, she used to charge me like 10 to $12 for a a A-line dress. Cause she said they were just very simple to make. And so she would measure me and then I would pick out whatever fabric I have. And she would use the same measurements every time I had all these. Cause I lived in El Paso and it's hot as all Gettys out there. So you had to have um, those sleeveless um, dresses. And um, I think I still have one and I probably couldn't put my left leg in there, but I, that's what I want to do, but I'm going to start with quilts because I have die cuts for that and I don't have to cut. <laughs> uh, now I do 
photo edit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all seen Victoria Phillips photo edits. She's posted them in Rustic Ink Angel Designs Facebook group and Disorganized um, Crafter Facebook group. Oh, my gosh. I'm still... Uh, Victoria, that's how this came about. This idea. Shoot, shoot, you you inspire people and don't know. What what Christine? Christine, I'm not cheating. It is a tool. Christine said I'm cheating on cutting fabrics using a dye plate. No, no, no. It is the way of of the current um uh I don't know. I can't even lie my way out of this one. It's not cheating. They have die cuts. They sell them. <laughs> um yes, I have Christine. I that's where I got the initial fabric from, of course. It is green, blue, and with I think some let me I don't want to touch the fabric, so I'm not going to take it out. It's plastic. Oh, wait a minute. I can put gloves on. Wait a minute. And I will show you the fabric I have. I'm telling you, I'm ready. I just can't sew. I need help. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can go really wrong or really right. Okay. It might be comedy hour or it might not be. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the fabric I have. Uh, let me see if I can get it closer. There we go. So these are all my favorite colors. If I can use these colors in every project, I would. Uh, y yes. Um, no, I don't know. These are fat squares. Quarters? Um, something? Are these fat quarters? Fat squares? Square fats? What are they called? See, they open up. So that's a fat quarter, right? So... Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here so I do not get any paint on it. It's like a, it's like they're delicate. No, who is that? Is that Barbara? Barbara, you know I can get to you in five hours. Don't talk about pink. <laughs> huh? Which means to have to cut. Which means you. Oh, I have I have a um, crafter's companion, of course. I have a the um, whatever it is and the little rotary thingamajiggy to cut. But Nicole don't cut straight, so yes, I have die cuts to cut the fat quarters and the strips. Now, isn't this going to be a great quilt if I can make it and learn how to sew in time for Christmas? <laughs> and there is nothing better than... This is my favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> oh, those together would make an awesome quilt. Right? All, oh, yes. Beautiful. No, no, you still have to cut... No, I don't, Christine. I'm going to show you why not. Because Crafter's Companion took care of that. Well, the backing and stuff like that, yeah. Oh, I got to cut. No, I got to cut backing? What? Well, yeah. You ain't tell me that. All I knew is I had to get some fabric <laughs> and some thread. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Well, you don't have to worry about that till the end. I like this one too. Okay. Well, what kind of bag? Oh. I'm telling you, this is I whatever you want. Yeah. And why I'm doing this on YouTube, learning on YouTube, is beyond me. I think I just have a. Well, I, I mean, I need serious refresher. I haven't <laughs> sewn in many, many Martha! years. Martha. Martha has a sewing well, machine. Yeah, Martha sews. There's another one. 
Yep, Martha's all kinds of trainers here. This is actually a very pretty color. It has like this white um, on it. I'm not yeah, having. I'm like not surgical hour. I just don't want to get my hands. Dirty. You know, you can even get well, depending on the size of your quilt. You can even get a sheet, a flat sheet, and use that as the backing. And then, of course, you're going to want to get you know the blanket, the batting. Now my quilt's going to be big enough to cover my dog. <laughs> the rate I'm going. Oh, you just make a lap quilt then, yeah. Why yeah, not? lap quilt. Okay, y'all hear that? All, I've already put out the call, calling all sewers. What is it, 60 by 50? Is that the... No, that's not right. What? The dimensions of, of the typical lap blanket, lap throw. Um, <laughs> 50 by 60, is that it? What? What? So that's all you'll need is is fabric enough for you know I think it's fifty by sixty is is a lot. Okay, so this is why this is going to be hilarious. One, I can't never measure. Two, I can't cut straight. You can too. Three, not sure if I can sew straight. No, it doesn't matter if you cut it totally straight. Is it's going to be bigger than you know the ending product anyway, and you're going to trim it once it's sewn down. So I that's gotta trim. Matter. <laughs> my aunt Martha makes clothes all, all the time and uses the sheets for the. See, she uses sheets. She she can do it exactly, June. You can you can make a tapestry size one and hang it. Oh Lord. Okay, I don't know what I did with it, but they're somewhere. Mm -hmm. Got all about that. No, no tapestry. <laughs> I have a handmade quilt from my grandmother, my mother, and my mother's great aunt. Oh, wow. Yep. And I only used one over the years. The other two are still packed away. Oh, and, man. Uh, yeah. So, there is nothing like a handmade quilt, I'm telling you. Right. So soft. Well, mine's going to be handmade, but it's going to have die cuts. <laughs> it's still handmade. Right? Right. With the die cutting machine. Oh. i got to find what I did with them. And it's anyway, like squares so, and all that, you know, like your typical old school. Yeah. So Crafters Companion, they have a line. And so this is the dome purse. And so they have the die cuts that will cut out the pattern for you. Right. So they have this. They have it for the um for the triangles, the squares, the rectangles, and everything else. So when those came out, I was so tempted to get some of the purse ones. Right. That's something I would love to make is yeah. I wanted some big totes for um going grocery shopping instead of you know getting paper. Okay. So since I have two of these. I think I'm going to give one away. Oh, you know, I made the face bigger on this one. I was wondering. Are you share, Talisa, are you going to share the pictures? Yes, um, I want to see. Yeah, we oh, all want to see. So I have Dreamer and I have Believe. This one, the face is a little bit bigger because I thought this one, maybe this face was a little bit smaller. So which one will we do? Um, I think I'm going to do believe this since y'all watched it. Watched it me. Where is my English tonight? Y'all watched it me do something. Where's your hard? Where's your hard? Huh? Words are hard. Where's my what? I said words are hard. That's what I say on days when I, for some reason, I... Yeah. No, Dr. Pepper or something. What is the resin you use? Does it come black or do you color it black? Tiffany. The resin is called Aluma Res by Aluma Light and it is RC3. We have it in the store. And um the the thing about it, it um is the solid black and what we do with that is because it has a shelf life um we've talked to the company and um so 
literally as soon as we order it we get it within three to four days if they have it in stock which they do most of the time they were out of stock for about a month and i had a meltdown but oh my yeah, god they're all back in stock <laughs> and um <laughs> and <laughs> i know they're all back in stock so what we do is because supposedly it's a three month shelf shelf life so we don't want to have anything sitting here in the store and nobody buy it and then you get it and it goes bad in a month. So, um, <laughs> thank you, Talise. So, um, as soon as you order it, then we order it and then we'll have it sent straight to you. So, and um, it is a bit pricier than the um, Michaels, but, um, and Crystal did not believe me until she ordered it. And I had been telling her for months to go and get the Illuminite um R what is it R R C three and they have it in tan they have it in black um uh, I think there's three options white black and tan there's and, a translucent as well isn't there or no me. or is that not the the model number that also is translucent I thought there was a clear one too there is a clear one but I they're not in that um not in that um, not model number gotcha. that no yeah it's um clear epoxy so they oh let me get something that's black <laughs> so they and do have it in black, black and they do have it in tan and this is a tan i find that with this brand when you paint over it and when you wax over it or you're using any of the like the icing paste or you can use paste on it it gives it it covers much better and it stays like there was a tooth to it. I don't know if that's the right word to say, mm -hmm. but it's just something different than the, the um, one that they sell in Michael's same. And it's the same brand, but it's a different um, formulation is I guess I want to say, yes, I do like the tan and it colors really well too. And let me see. Um, nope. It's still liquefied. Okay. Let's do that auto. Okay. And then we'll give this away. <laughs> I know I have um, squirreled again. Sorry. All right. So <laughs> you <laughs> usually with the resin, you're not going to get that one coat wonder. And I'm pouncing. So you want to pounce. <laughs> Just like when you do glass, you want to pounce on resin. Because if you swipe, you're going to swipe it off. But usually with resin, like when I do the white resin, it doesn't cover as quick and as sturdy. Sturdy. Good gracious, like a horse. <laughs> as good as the one I get from Michaels. I'm going to leave this up. I was doing so good with the hand. Oh. Uh, let me see. This thing is not. There we go. This thing does not like to autofocus. There we go. And you can see it's not coming off on it. It doesn't look light. It fully covered it. And it, for some reason, I just find it easier to paint over. Well, now that I've painted it, I might as well finish it. <laughs> well, yes. Why, well, yes. But, so, but it lasts a long time. I have done several resin pieces off of one bottle. And they are um, 16 ounce bottles. And I will show you the bottles. And let me show you the difference between what you're going to get there than what you're going to get from Illumilite for the R3, RC3. So when you get the bottles, first of all, they're 16 ounce bottles. <laughs> you can tell the black is well, yeah, yeah. almost out. <laughs> and this is the part B. You're going to have the top on the on here, and then you're going to cut off the top. 
and you squirt it out. So you're not going to be pouring it out. You don't have to um, turn the bottle, ugh, turn the top on and off. You just pop the top on. So you can wipe off the top. Nice. And pop it on. Did you hear the pop? Pop. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is part B of the black. Now, the only thing, and I will warn you, I think there's ink already in the black. So this is this is part um, A of the black, and it tells you to shake well. It is very inky. <laughs> Just be careful. Make sure and that room is on, too. Oh, yeah. And you're not going to know, like, when... I wait until my room is... Yeah, Carla, I would, too. I, they say three months. I've had resin for five, six months, and it worked right. fine. You'll find that part B, which is the hardener, will start to crystallize a little bit at the bottom. And you might get chunks when you um, combine them. So, you know, to be on the safe side, I'm going with what uh, Lumalite says. And they say three months shelf life, but it, it can last for five. <laughs> but they have the tan and then the tan will have the white um, part A and this will be the same for part B on the hardener. And it's just a um, brownish um, color for the hardener. If you have white, it'll have both um, like a yellow part B and a white part A. So this is the black and I love it. And it comes out as y'all see, very nice. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And I don't I mean, maybe it is possible nowadays, but trying to get that black by mixing colorants, you know, yeah. using colorants. I don't even know if it would be possible well, to get that black. Let's look at one of my experiments of mixing black. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, well, I that in gray. Well, I still have that one. Like gunmetal, but I I have yet to get black out of it. Oh no. I was shocked. The first time these girls got the black in and actually poured it. I I'm serious, my mouth was hanging open because I have never seen Oh, I have to show them your black. Okay, so also they have um where is my and it would take just unreal amount. Oh, right too. it would cost a fortune to get that black by color okay. yeah it yeah that's why i i'm sorry i love my, <laughs> i love my luma res right that i don't know if all the other brands they're black or that much but yeah that that is the best black resin i have ever seen okay so and we're just shooting the crap right now so <laughs> but if you are if you are into doing molds and you you know i am a person of color so of course i want to do um probably skin tones um that are a little bit darker or whatever and so um the alumalite company has um and i've been testing it out because i always test stuff out before i tell anybody so <laughs> i'm still testing so um, they have Native American, they have um, African American, and then they have, uh -oh, where's the other one? Caucasian. <laughs> so they have people in a bottle. <laughs> yes, they're people. People in a bottle. So. If you have a face like this, I mean, you're going to color the hair or whatever, but let's say those little angels that I have or do, and you wanted it to be, you know, specifically for, you know, a, uh, someone that is Spanish or African American or Indian, or maybe they've been to the tanning booth too long, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> You want a different color so i actually put too much in this one but it does have um a darker 
more brown brownish red um pennies at terracotta but oh these are part of the molds from the prima line as well so you can it depends on the drops you put in there so i was kind of <laughs> yeah martha tanning well you never know some people <laughs> they tan so much they never go back <laughs> but um Um, you can put as many as one or two drops or three drops. Um, I found that with the Caucasian, I put like five drops in and it just did a, uh, pink shade. So I probably need to put 10 or 11 drops in. I find with the African American, maybe two or three drops, um, is fine. And then with the Native American, you can range from a light tan to a really, really dark tan. So, um, and this was probably about eight drops. And that gave me a, I'm still finding glitter from Christmas. Good, good night. <laughs> so this kind of was a, um, probably back a caramel brown. It's not showing the, the brownish tone in it. So. <laughs> oh you oh he was red in the movie right so i'm still playing with this to see how it is but i do have to say if you just buy white um resin um and you just want to uh dye it me i like trying out the, the skin tones because i was trying to get the perfect skin tone using what was it um Tim Holtz reinkers. Yeah, that was an experiment. So <laughs> anyway, so what are we going to do? I think, and I don't know how hey Penny, do you know how many people? Oh, she's made it. <laughs> I don't know how many people are on here. Um I don't see the YouTube side. Um, let's say, oh, 21. Okay. So let's say one through 30. I don't have a number. Wait a minute. Wait a Hold up. Wait a minute. I need a number. And you can't give it to me. Because I got to give it to me. 21. Thank you, June. So we'll do one through 40. Make y'all work for it. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, got a number. I got the number. I did it in highlight, so hopefully I can see it. All right. So with my hand at the keyboard, I'm going to type go. And I need a number between a one and Forte. And Talise, Talise, where you at, Talise? Sorry, you can't win. You won last time. No! Oh. I can take off the gloves now. <laughs> Oh, here comes the dog. He must have ate all his bone. Oh, man, y'all. Come on. Closet. Nikki, Penny's AFK, just so you know. Oh, yep. Yeah. Say hi to Tony, everyone. <laughs> Uh, Y'all keep dancing around it. Come on. Nikki needs some chocolate. Come on. Get that number. <laughs> what do you want, Poopy? Booby. 
Oh, that's my dog. I call him Booby. Oh, y'all. Oh, oh. Nikki need a chocolate. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, Christine. I ain't figured it up. Oh, Martha won. <laughs> Stop. Up, oh, Victoria. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Hey, Shirley. Yep. All right. Number was 33. Y'all were dancing around it for so long. <laughs> I thought I'd never going to get my chocolate drops. <laughs> All right. Move, move, move. All right, so you are the proud new owner of Believe. Do, 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 do. Take a look. Take a look. This is what, wait a minute, hold on. Let me do like a, a, take a look at what you've won, Martha. You've won a four by six canvas with Believe, featuring the new Prima products, Cogs and Wheels, Star and Moon, Stars and Moon, Mechanica with a little bit of rust. And a little bit of paint. <laughs> and topped off with a little bit of wax. Congratulations, Martha. You have that brand new canvas. <laughs> oh, I can go in the TV camera, y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right. That is the end. Oh, I did more than... Ooh, I did what? Oh, no. That took, what, three hours? Oh. I did good. All right. That is the end of the show. Does anybody have any questions? Recheck the call out. What am I rechecking? Oh, <laughs> you want to star on it? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Now she going. <sighs> yes, June. The resin is in the store. We have it in the store. And um, it should say um, specifically. Um, specifically um, with the different things. It's probably about a delay, about four or five days shipping. Yeah, Christine, I have it, and I'll take a picture of it, but I have it after Martha. Actually, yeah, Martha, then Victoria, then Martha again. <laughs> Good night, Carla. All right, so Martha, PM me your address. Oh, don't worry about PM me. I got it. All right, so happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It's almost over. And happy Single Awareness Day for Miss Amy Phillips. Oh, cool, Talise. I'm going to go look at him. I'm so excited for a so serious series. <laughs> Say that real fast three times and see if y'all stutter. I think I am going to. And I'm going to have to set up probably a special table. Do I have to have? Okay, so y'all need to give me tips. So in Disorganized Crafter, um, in the group, if you're going to give me a tip on sewing, say, so serious, S-E-W, serious, and then tip, and then whatever it is. So I know how to prepare myself for this sewing extravaganza we're going to do. I'm mm -hmm. It's going to be funny. I made it back in time. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'll just saying good night and happy Valentine's Day. Exactly. I could hear everything. I just couldn't do anything about it. No. Oh. <laughs> good night, everybody. Have a great rest of your Valentine's night. Yes, yes, yes. And we we'll probably will be doing a show on Saturday, I do believe, or it might be tomorrow. I don't know. 
Um, but uh, Crystal will be doing her um, Valentine's Day project, which I think will be featuring some graphic for the vibe. Not sure. So we probably will be seeing you on Saturday. Thank you for coming, Shirley. I know you were in the background. <laughs> Shoot. Uh -huh. Shirley I'm likes to be crafting in the background while she's listening. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Single Awareness Day. And I will see y'all. Happy Crafters on Saturday. Good night. Nighty nights.